In this video, I'm going to show you how I upgraded this old Federal Pacific Electric fire hazard electrical panel to this brand new 200 amp service. Okay, hold up now. This is not, I repeat, not a DIY video. I will not be doing this installation myself. This has got to be done by a qualified licensed electrician for a couple reasons. One, I don't know what I'm doing. Two, it's very dangerous. And that's why I hired this guy. Okay, so I'm here with Isaac Colon from uh, Electric Brothers Company. This is the contractor I hired to install my new electrical upgrade. So Isaac, main question is, why should a homeowner not be doing this themselves as a DIY? It's a big job. We actually relocated your main service panel from the back side of your house towards the very back side of your garage, which is completely detached from each other, about almost 80 feet. Well, that sounds great and everything, okay. but now how do I get power to my house if you took my panel off my house and put a new panel in the back of the garage? So okay. then we had to work on getting a feed from underground, trenching across, to create a sub panel to go inside your house to transfer all these circuits inside to do this correctly by code. Now that Isaac has explained the complexity of this install, let me show you exactly how they did it. Hey Juan, how's, how's it going? Good. So what are we going to do today? Uh, I'm going to be setting up the panel on the back of the garage. Sweet. This is my little new, my new panel right here. Yeah. I thought I'd be bigger. <laughs> really? <laughs> so on these panels here, they, they come usually set up for bottom fit, but they're made for both top and sure. bottom fit. So I'm gonna change these lugs and turn them out to the top here. I guess switch, switch, turn them around. It's, yeah, turn them around. So when the top wires come here, they go on the top side of it. Nice. Oh yeah, so th these are the requirements for uh, Burbank. Uh, water and power the meter's got to be no oh, more than six to three max on okay. the center meter and a four foot minimum to the bottom got it and i already got a pad there because i have a walkway yeah, have that pad. yeah we're good the brand new panel is now mounted to the back of the garage so step one complete here now we got to start cutting some angle iron so we can get the masthead mounted well, this looks like David's version of square peg and round hole. Uh, he's having a hard time with that bolt because he kept hitting a nail, but he eventually got it. Good job, Dave. Now it's time to cut the masthead to length and get it screwed in. Look how fast those guys are. So what are we doing today? So today we're going to be cleaning up these overhead lines going to the garage here. And these overhead lines, that my understanding is uh, one is to power the garage and the other is for a 240. 240 volt. That's about right, right? Correct. Okay. And then uh, we, we still got fuses over here. Right. Yeah, we want to get rid of those. Part of the reason why we're doing this because this, this fuse stuff just scares the shit out of me. Right. Uh, yeah, look at this stuff. I haven't seen this since my mom's house. I mean, this conduit doesn't look incredibly old, but it's not new. Put these can lights in so you guys can just wire those up. Made it easy for you. And then out here, let's take a look out here. So now to get power from here to the house, you got to run a, uh, what, what, what cable are you going to run to get to the house? Uh, number two cable for 100 amps here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to install here an inch and a quarter conduit here and poke into the garage. Okay. And then run our flex inside the attic space there. Right. To get over to the other side here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go through the garage attic, down the wall, out the wall, down here, the wall here, into my trench that I dug myself. Okay, before I started digging on my property, I contacted Dig Alert. Uh, Dig Alert will then initiate calling all the utility companies to come out and check the area that I want to dig my trenching at to make sure there's no buried gas lines or utility lines or anything else in that area. And that's digalert.org. Be sure to do this first before you start digging. Right. <laughs> and I'm not done yet. I got to get on like four more inches. It's not 18 inches yet. All right, let's do it. David's now installing the wall receptacle boxes around the garage, and he's also going to be wiring the uh, can lights I put in while Juan is disassembling these old fuse boxes. He's also disconnecting the overhead lines to those fuse boxes between the house and the garage. Boy, am I glad to see those wires gone. So today we're going to be, um, obviously we got an inspector coming out here today uh, to make sure we have the right depth 
for our feeder for our sub panel inside the house. That did not go as planned. The inspector came out, thought he was doing a complete final inspection. We only requested a partial inspection to make sure the depth of the trench was deep enough for him before we continued, because it's a lot of work to undo that. He said we we're wasting his time. He was in a very bad mood. <laughs> and we're also gonna be putting uh, uh, the feeder wire up on the riser here. It's a uh, three odd wire. Okay, so that wire is going up there to that yeah, masthead, right? Ridge. Who actually connects that? Is that you guys that connect it, or does the city have to come and do that? Uh, we could connect it to get power going, but they will come back and they'll reconnect it after uh, final inspection. How do you disconnect that cable over there with that being live yeah. off the pole? Right, we, have, we just do it hot. You do it hot? You do it hot. Oh, shit, man. Energize it. Just be safe, you know? Wow. All right. Yeah. Better you than me, man. I ain't touching that shit. Right. <laughs> David and Juan are trying to figure out the circuits as they exist currently in my house because they have to, you know, cut those wires, remove those breakers and that panel, and then reconfigure everything to the new sub panel. So this takes a lot of time and effort. Okay, so you give me the honors to uh, turn off the main. Turn off the main one last final time before Go this ahead. thing gets stuffed and mounted on my wall in my office. Right. Here we go. All right. So you're doing this live. <laughs> that stuff's still energized. Yeah. You cut one wire at a time, tape it up, yeah. and the goal is not to touch both ends at the same time, right? Correct. You got some big cojones to be doing that shit. Hey, dummy up, the boss is here. <laughs> What's up, Isaac? Just in time for the unveiling. Oh, is it right? Yeah. Perfect timing, like always. <laughs> Say action. The service equipment is installed. We now have the uh, service conductor wire coming through the top of the masthead down into the line side of the panel. As you can see there, we've got our two hots and then we've got our neutral. Now it's time to install the underground conduit that we're gonna pull the uh, number two uh, cable through from the main panel at the back of the garage, through the garage, underground, all the way to the new sub panel inside the house. What is this box for? Uh, what well, this is called the gutter. It's a four by four by one foot gutter. It's gonna be a pulling point that's gonna help us pull the, our home run from the main panel over to the sub panel inside. What that means is a one long wire with no breaks in it, right? Correct. Exactly, okay. So that's just a place for you to grab it and pull on it from one end to the other. Right. Over we here. have another pulling point, but this is called an LB here. Yeah, we got an LB here. Oh, you also got the grounding that you're doing right now. Yeah. So did you bang in those ground rods yourself? No, I didn't. The other guy did. The other guy did. <laughs> right on. Two ground rods. Two ground rods. That's code. Yes, sir. Bam. And this is third ground rod out front for the sub panel. And now we're going into the house. So from there, you're gonna run. You're gonna run the sub panel. Correct. From there, it's another pulling point. We're going to run it straight to the sub-panel. Here is the original service conductor wire that just got disconnected from the main house, and it's live. And now Juan is up on the roof of the garage where he has to handle this live wire and figure out where to cut it so he can then connect it to the new masthead, which is connected to the new service panel behind the garage. The connection Juan is making right now is only temporary. Once the building inspector has finalized the electrical service upgrade and everything is up to code, then the DWP will come out and put their own finishing touches on these connections. Today we're going to be cutting out the wall to get this sub panel installed. All right, got 100 amp, 30 spaces. And what do you got to do to get it in the wall? We got to cut the, the wall, wall open, right? <laughs> of course, you know. <laughs> and get our feet uh, from the bottom there uh, put in so we could get our length uh, to order our wire. Let's do some demo. What are we doing here? What are you gonna do to my house? 
we're gonna destroy your house right now. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna cut out here, uh, figure out which direction is uh, where the studs are at to try to center the sub panel in this wall here. Nice. What are you going to use? Sledgehammer? Oh, yeah. Circular sledgehammer? <laughs> <No. laughs>
I inspect houses every day and I hear it nothing but problems with these yeah, things. Yeah, they are. Very so finicky system. The AFCI breakers were here and then Juan came back and removed them and put regular breakers in. I haven't had a problem since. Right. So AFCI breakers. Suck. So Isaac, this looks great. I'm really happy with the uh, work you guys did. Um, everybody was pro. Everybody showed up when they were supposed to. And I really love the finished product. And my house is much safer. So thank you, sir. Hey, no, thanks for the opportunity. You got it. Thank you.